Hey everyone, I am so excited to finally release the Ben Solo teaser trailer that I've been working on for months. This is clearly a fan trailer and it's not official in any way. You what? But I think that it does a good job of painting the vision that I have for a story in which Ben Solo returns and all of our other heroes return from the sequels. It kind of centers around this idea of a existential threat looming over the galaxy. Something very new and different than we've ever seen before. This is where we would introduce the Yuuzhan Vong. Now, I don't know a ton about them, but I've read enough to make me think that they would be the perfect kind of villain. We don't need more of the Empire versus Rebels. Okay, we already had two trilogies of that. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm done with Empire versus Rebels because that's literally what the sequels were. Okay. <laughs> So we need something that's going to challenge our heroes in a different way, and it needs to facilitate character growth. And so if we go by the ending of The Rise of Skywalker, Ben Solo is one with a force, basically. That's what it looks like to me. He's dead, but it doesn't mean he's gone forever. And so my idea is that while he's one with the force, he's in this other netherworld where he's enduring these trials, right? These trials that he has to overcome to atone for what he did. Now, he will still have to also kind of atone for what he did in the real world when he comes back. Like, he'll have to help the galaxy and live with the weight of what he did to some extent. But I like the idea of putting him through almost like a literal, almost like a hell, honestly. And the reason I want him to do that is because Adam Driver is so good at conveying somebody who's really broken. And when he goes through pain in any sense of the, the word like you feel it like you feel for him on screen he's really good at depicting that i'm i'm really tired of people just saying how he just deserved what he got and you know he has absolutely no there's no reason to bring him back because he's done too much evil and so i really want to be able to say like the dude has been through literal hell a, a nightmare that no jedi or sith ever had to en endure and it would be an immense amount of suffering and it would be it would be pretty crazy visually to depict because it would be like the Star Wars version of hell. But the reason I want him to do that is because I think that while he's there and he fights his way out and endures all this kind of hardship, he will unlock a new power. He will discover a new power in the force that he can use to fight the Vong. But the problem is, is that he can't get back to Rey and everybody by himself. So Rey has to go and bring him back. And how she does that, I have no idea. I didn't think that far through. To be honest with you, I'm still scratching my head as to how Darth Maul came back and how Boba Fett came back and how Palpatine came back. But you know what? At this point, it doesn't seem like we really care about how they come back, just if and when. Yeah, so the Yuuzhan Vong would be invading the galaxy and Rey and everybody else would be trying to fight them off. Finn would be developing himself as a Jedi now too. And there would be a ton of new characters too. And maybe even bring back a few that, you know, maybe were like, I don't know what's going on with Ahsoka. Okay. I mean, I don't know if she's still alive in the Rise of Skywalker and after. I have no idea, y'all. One of the things I loved about the prequels is that it had so many characters, right? So many characters running around. I want Star Wars to kind of embrace that crazy amount of diversity again with just all these different kinds of characters, human, alien, whatever. So this will give an opportunity to bring some new characters on that can be force sensitive because I really want more like Jedi. I want more lightsabers. Like, you know, maybe some people didn't care about that, but I freaking love that about the prequels and I want more of it. And, and I, I feel like the sequels were a little bit of a letdown because there was just barely any lightsaber duels. The only thing I, I don't have answered with the story is what do you do about the dark side? I think what makes them terrifying apart from their appearance is their ideology and their immunity to the force. They are not like the Empire in that they want power and just to rule over everybody. They have a very primal desire. that it's, it's transcendent of just like, I want to rule the galaxy. It's almost like, it's almost a religion for them. It's like a cult and they believe it fervently but they are in fact evil. Like, don't get me wrong. They're gonna be bad guys. <laughs> I am the vanguard of your destruction. But I don't know what you do about having villains that can take on Rey and everybody else that are like, use lightsabers and stuff. I don't know if the Vong maybe have some characters that use lightsabers. I don't know, that feels a little far-fetched to me, but. So I, I admit, I don't know what you do about that because I, I would love to see some more dark side characters, but I don't even know what you do with the ending of The Rise of Scout. What does that mean? Did, did Rey destroy all the Sith permanently? Did all the Jedi destroy all the Sith? Is that what I saw happen? Because I don't really know. I'm very confused. I, I don't know. 
I mean, hopefully Palpatine's gone for good. The reason I did this trailer is because I prefer visual storytelling for myself. Like if, if I'm going to tell you a story, I want to do it visually. So I thought I would paint you a picture of what I think it, it would be cool to see with Ben Solo coming back. And I didn't get to do everything I wanted to because quite honestly, for one, I couldn't find clips that I liked that would work well enough. Even, and you'll notice if you're a Mass Effect fan, that's obviously Sovereign, you know, the Reapers from Mass Effect. You know, it sounds more synthetic than it does Alien. I think it still works pretty good. The, the point is to be intimidating, right? The point is to have a force that is so terrifying that you don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I wanted to do this trailer because I, I want there to be an ongoing discussion of the character of Ben Solo because I feel like if we stop talking about him and we let Lucasfilm just kind of, you know, keep pushing us away, trying to divert our attention away from the sequels, like we'll just do what they want. Because I don't think that they're as proud of the sequels as they claim to be. And even though like they cherish them at different times and moments, I don't really think you can say that about the finale because clearly it was a rushed film. I mean, all three of them had to be rushed to some extent. So I want, you know, I want Lucasfilm to know that like, we're not done with these characters. And and I, I agree that they are not, that these films are not perfect. And I understand a lot of fans are not happy with the sequels. In order to go forward in the story, you need to do something to bring everybody together. You can't just keep shoving these characters down people's throats and just, say well you're misogynistic or you're racist or you're you know whatever that's just not that's intellectually dishonest to just be dismissive like that now certainly that's true of some people the majority of star wars fans are not like bigots okay they're just very passionate about what they like but lucasfilm needs to do something to unite fans again so i made this trailer and i just really hope you guys like it let me know what you think in the comments i felt like it was an appropriate day to drop it i'm gonna keep talking star wars i've got some more Raylo videos planned and you know some other stuff hopefully we'll get some hint of ben solo's return at some point and i think both adam and daisy would be happy to do it if they were given a good script and a good director but i will say also guys at the same time like like, I'm not in a rush. I want them to take their time. So if this takes five, 10 years, that's a long time to wait, I admit, but you know, do it right. Take your time and do it right. We don't want rushed products. And when you rush things, you make mistakes, you get sloppy, you're not giving your best. That's just how it is. I'm just saying to Lucasfilm, apply that same logic to your biggest Star Wars films and you will have success. Do it right. And ultimately, and most importantly, Bring back Ben Solo and Ray and everybody we love. You know, throw Mace Windu in there too if you want to. I don't care. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the trailer. Love you guys. May the fourth be with you. See you later.